Today, the environment of both society in general and workplaces is changing at a higher speed than ever before. In some cases, the situation may have changed completely in the space of just one year or even several months. One important attitude to maintain in this age of change is the ability to focus on the basics. Response to change is, of course, important, but that doesn't mean you should run around in utter confusion trying to respond to everything at once. It's not too much to say that the thoroughgoing practice and activation of the 5S program provides the basics for carrying one's work steadily forward. Even 5S itself has been changing in various ways to respond to changes in society. So let's now look at some 5S management methods. The 5S program can only be regarded as truly successful if it has taken root at the workplace and become a habit. In most companies that introduce 5S, dramatic effects are observed at the start. But as time passes, the growth rate of the effect slows down until it forms a gentle down curve. It is very important to develop 5S as a habit to the extent that it can be almost unconsciously practiced at the worksite. But there is also the danger that it can turn into something done simply from force of habit and that can also trigger stagnation. If you have the attitude that the present situation's just fine, there's nothing wrong in keeping everything as it is now, then the growth rate will inevitably start taking a down curve. The cases of both Iwaki Electronics and Tama Manufacturing were no exceptions. So what kind of things can we do to help activate 5S? Let's look at how things can be thought out to activate and upgrade the level of 5S using some actual examples from Iwaki Electronics and Tama Manufacturing. There's no end to 5S. We can never say we have completed the program. We have to conduct management of each of the 5S steps, clearing up, organizing, cleaning, standardizing, and training and discipline, and keep aiming to progress one class above the level of the way things should be in order to keep 5S evolving. Something called 5S checking is an important part of 5S management. Let's see what it is by considering some cases from Iwaki Electronics and Tama Manufacturing. 5S checking is conducted separately on the two groups of steps. The 3S of clearing up, organizing and cleaning and the remaining 2S of standardizing and training and discipline. 3S checking targets phenomena that can be easily observed. Whereas with 2S, we have to check the continuation of standardizing and the mental aspects of training and discipline. 5S checking is basically carried out in a certain flow. 1. Submission of the action plan. 2. Checking the progress of the action plan as it is put into effect. 3. Internal checking. 4. External checking. Let's look at the checking process in more detail. 1. Submission of the action plan. First, you have to draw up a plan which clearly sets out how you intend to carry out 5S and for what purpose and the procedures involved. Then you start practicing the initial phase of 5S. 2. Checking the progress of the action plan as it is put into effect. Once you have completed implementing the initial phase of 5S, checking of the progress of the 5S plan should be conducted by the relevant section. First comes self-evaluation. 
the workers who are actually practicing the 5S activities check their progress with the action plan. Then the 5S leaders and managers check the progress in the same way. Success is judged based on a pass mark of 80%. Only those who pass this level can move on to the next step of internal checking. 3. Internal checking means that the progress is also checked by members of other sections in the company and the 5S promotion team, so that the quality of 5S can be checked more objectively. The 5S checklists that are used throughout the company are a vital part of internal checking. Let's look at the characteristics of the checklists used by Iwaki Electronics. In our factory, we first prepare separate checklists for the offices, for the technology department, and for production. Each checklist has its own checking items for clearing up, organizing, cleaning, standardizing, and training and discipline. For example, in the checklists for the offices and for the technology department, desktops and filing cabinets are included as critical points. In the checklist for production, you find the treatment of cables for machines and equipment as a critical checkpoint. We conduct internal checking based on these checklists, point out any problem areas on the spot, and also give suggestions for improvements. Internal checking is effective in various ways. One, checking other sections helps you understand the 5S level of your own section better. Two, the process of checking other sections can also provide inspiration and stimulation. 3. It provides a wider perspective on the significance of 5S. 4. Image sharing of the way things should be can be promoted. The fourth step is external checking. Those that pass the 80% pass level in the internal checking move on to external checking. This involves checking by external consultants or other sources. The reason for conducting external checking is that internal checking can lack objectivity and can lead to objections regarding results. Another benefit is to get valuable advice from external sources on how to raise the general level of 5S. When conducting external checking it is a very good idea for the 5S promotion team members and managers to accompany the checking team so that they can try to get a consensus on a new image of the way 5S should be. That concludes one round of 5S checking. But just as 5S is a never-ending story, 5S checking never finishes either. That means it's indispensable to establish 5S checking as an item to be conducted regularly. Regular checking should be done by each section in turn and as many people as possible should be involved. Anyone experiencing checking, even only once, will acquire a much better understanding of the significance of 5S. That leads to better improvements and the participation of the entire staff which is a major premise of 5S. The class of the way things should be will become higher after the level of 5S is upgraded through 5S checking. So naturally, the level of the next checking also has to be higher than before. 5S activities should always be climbing in a spiral, just like the PDCA program, Plan, Do, Check, Act. Here's a summary of part one. One, 5S checking should be done in stages. Self-evaluation, internal evaluation, and external evaluation. Two, in order to conduct fair and accurate checking, the same checklists have to be used throughout the company. Three, as many people as possible should be involved in checking. 4. 5S checking must be conducted on a regular basis.
In order to continue 5S activities and gradually upgrade their level, an environment has to be established in which each employee develops the desire to create new rules and new images of the way things should be, and in which ideas can be freely exchanged, rather than an attitude of just sticking to existing rules. For that to happen, it's important to make the results of 5S activities known to the entire company and for them to be properly evaluated. Let's take a look at the evaluation method used by Iwaki Electronics. Considering ways to further activate our 5S program, we decided to create opportunities for everyone to appreciate our 5S results together at some timely point. We thought it was necessary to give some kind of positive stimulation so that the entire staff will always be aware of 5S. So as a part of our 5S management process, we publicly announced the checking results and we've introduced an award system as well. Let's now look at the features and the effects of the award system set up at Iwaki Electronics. Actually, there are two different awards. One is the 5S Idea Award, which is given for the best 5S improvement idea. Each section is invited to submit a report describing some improvement it has put into practice, with photographs of the situation before and after the improvement. The winner of the Idea Award is selected through the evaluation by the entire staff of all the reports submitted. Here is an example of a 5S Idea Award winner. Workers on the IC assembly line came up with the idea of installing special trash boxes that enable workers to separate waste into different categories, such as soldering, precious metals, defective electronic parts, etc. The other award is the Excellent Level Award, which is given for high-level 5S achievements at work sites. This is an award based on the overall 5S level score. In both cases, winning groups are given an original plaque and there are supplementary prizes for individuals. The leaders of winning groups are appointed as the 5S managers for other sections as well. At Iwaki Electronics, the award system has served to raise the employees' awareness of their own involvement as well as raising the general level of 5S. It has also been very effective in activating individual work sites. But in addition to the award system, Iwaki Electronics holds an attitude that is indispensable for making 5S take root, continue and develop. And that is the long cherished enthusiasm towards 5S of the top management. One sign of that enthusiasm was the construction of a temporary storehouse for unused articles resulting from 5S. And even the company president encourages employees at their workplaces whenever he gets the chance. It's easy to break down physical barriers, but it's not so easy to break down the barriers in people's minds towards a new way of thinking. It's important that you never fail to point out what is correct and what isn't. So when I visit work sites, I sometimes reprimand people severely on the spot. Now how about the situation at Tama Manufacturing? We carry out 5S checking by the top management twice a year. And we also hold a monthly meeting to discuss quality and process checking. All improvement sites are inspected on that occasion by the president and the managers. In both companies, a great deal of emphasis is placed by the top management on getting involved, taking initiatives and presenting a good example. Here's a summary of part two. In order to help 5S take root, continue and develop, you should 1. Think out ways to give positive stimulation so that everyone remains aware of 5S at all times. 2. Create an environment in which the way things should be is constantly pursued. 3. 
Think of ways to demonstrate the constant interest of the top management in the 5S program. Because the 5S program developed at manufacturing sites, it was considered at first to be an improvement method only applicable to manufacturing environments. But it was not long before administrative departments began to appreciate its value as well. Today, 5S shows considerable developments in administrative fields. 5S has been introduced in so many companies, in a wide variety of business formats and different industries, that it has naturally evolved into many different forms. The reason why 5S can meet the needs of all kinds of businesses and different types of work environments is because it provides the basic activities for helping work to progress more efficiently. And the meaning of each step, clearing up, organizing, cleaning, standardizing, and training and discipline is clearly defined. 5S has the intrinsic ability to meet evolving needs. We can call this 5S evolution, and there are two main types. One type is cases where the 5S target area broadens. The other type is where 5S deeply infiltrates a worksite and achieves growth on its own there. Let's look at a case of 5S evolution where the target area broadens based on an example at Iwaki Electronics. This is the administration department of Iwaki Electronics. In this office, there is one computer per employee. And in fact, it's these computers that have become the latest target of 5S. All business data in this office is shared on a server rather than being held by individuals. Naturally, the volume of shared data is enormous and growing constantly. That's why 5S Evolution was started here. First, we distinguished which data was necessary and which was not, and we deleted all the unnecessary data. Then we installed a storage place called a chart and clarified the arrangement and labeling of data so that anyone could search for data easily. As you can see, 5S clearing up and organizing are being conducted inside the computer Thanks to clearing up and organizing the shared data on the server, just as we would do for objects and documents, the data can now be used by many people more efficiently. So the activity range of 5S is no longer limited to the physical objects on the shop floor. It has been extended considerably. Let's look at the other type of 5S evolution, where 5S achieves growth on its own. This is another example from Iwaki Electronics. Several years ago, it was decided to move part of the production department to another building because of expanding production levels. Everyone thought that moving a production department would take several days or even weeks. But in fact, we were able to achieve it in just one day and were able to hold a test run on the second day. I think it was precisely because we've been continuing 5S activities for a long time and the spirit of 5S had infiltrated very deeply. To be more specific, there were no unnecessary items at all thanks to our thoroughgoing daily clearing up activities. And there was high transportation efficiency because role sharing among workers had been clarified and they all had a firm attitude toward observing rules. In addition, there was no waste at all, because we had incorporated the 5S concepts right from the stage of designing the equipment and the building, as well as the layout of all the machines. Introducing 5S right from the stage of equipment and building design, and even machine layout, is a very good example of 5S evolution. Now, what kinds of things are required to promote 5S evolution? Let's look at the approach taken at both Tama Manufacturing and Iwaki Electronics. 
At this production line at Tama Manufacturing, equipment inspections are carried out on a daily, weekly and monthly basis, each adopting different check items. The checklists are reassessed once every three months to adapt to changes at the worksite. At the same time, the number of check items is reduced as much as possible to raise inspection efficiency. In order to promote 5S evolution, it is very important to eliminate waste wherever possible and also to try to raise the efficiency of all 5S activities so that anyone can tackle 5S more easily. At Iwaki Electronics, the contents of the actual work, such as production items and production volume, change rapidly. As a result, 5S communications and reports are now carried out by email inside the company. I receive a report by email from the management division on all changes to 5S activities and new policies regarding improvements. I edit the information to make it more specific and then immediately send it to all the relevant staff at the workplaces by email. This means that 5S response at the worksite has speeded up and 5S improvements have been more successfully implemented as a result of more specific instructions being accurately delivered. In order to promote 5S evolution, it's important that any changes in the work process are identified and reported immediately, so that the changes can be reflected in the 5S activities. In other words, reporting, communicating, and consulting on 5S are very important. At a workplace where the 5S program is efficiently implemented and where there is proper reporting, communicating and consulting on 5S, in other words, where there are no barriers to 5S evolution, there tends to be better sharing of information and more active improvement proposal activities. In addition, at such workplaces, the management side tends to acquire more flexibility to respond to 5S changes. So 5S evolution involves activation of the workplace and the promotion of workplace development. Here's a summary of part three. One, there are two types of 5S evolution. One where the 5S target area broadens and the other where 5S achieves growth and development on its own. 2. 5S can meet the needs of a wide variety of work environments because all the steps are clearly defined and it provides the basic activities for helping work to progress more efficiently. 3. To promote 5S evolution, you have to improve general efficiency in carrying 5S forward. 4. Reporting, communicating and consulting on 5S are important points for promoting 5S evolution. The environment surrounding the workplace is constantly changing. We have to keep on proceeding with 5S evolution while at the same time reflecting all changes in our 5S activities. What this all means is that there is no end to 5S. I hope we've been able to give you some valuable ideas to help you continue activating and upgrading your own 5S program. Well, this may be the end of the video, but with 5S, every end is just a beginning. <laughs>